Riding out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold, Trevor Hayne from Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at a trim weight of 149 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his remarkable 20-year campaign to the ring with a record of 49 wins, no losses, 26 wins coming by way of knockout. A veteran of 26 world title appearances. Tonight he makes his return to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's future Hall of Famer and undisputed top attraction. Here is the former five division champion of the world introducing the sensational and undefeated Floyd Money. This shows his brilliant versatility. He's coming in like a brawler behind those gloves. He can outbox you, he can outpunch you, he can outbrawl you. At this point in the fight, Floyd had already adjusted rounds ago and started walking Zab down with the high guard. He didn't start brawling, but he started to apply excellent, intelligent front foot pressure. I'm taking you through all the wrinkles of Floyd's game. You can't be the best or the most skilled ever without being able to do it all at a high level. Throughout Floyd applying front foot pressure, Zab was countering Floyd with a 6 or a 3. So here, Floyd uses a quick accurate jab with the wide outside step to eliminate the 6 and immediately knows to duck the 3, which becomes a glancing blow at best. After, Zab tries a veteran cheap tactic applying weight to Floyd's neck, making him exude more effort to straighten back up. So Floyd weaves out and applies his own forearm frame to Zab's neck, trading veteran tricks. Floyd's inside game is all about controlling his opponent by framing and various guard manipulations to either defend or set up shots. Floyd's constantly transitioning between attacking and defending on the inside, ensuring that he lands and Zab doesn't get a chance to. I chalk up this three low with his leg off the ground to athleticism. But he switches frame arms like a handoff and has the wherewithal to lift Zab's guard with the frame to land a body shot. At this point, you should be realizing that Floyd is something different. The sequence here is occupy high to go low, frame to change head slots and attack the other side low, frame and step back to a bladed stance to make space for the 6-3, step back, forearm frame 4, frame attack, frame attack, frame attack.
Same sequence as earlier, except Zab isn't as skilled as Floyd is on the inside. For the many subscribers that are here from the Shakur Stevenson video, just look familiar. You want to be the most skilled, you study Floyd. This is what you call a high speed, high skill ass woman. Of course, Floyd goes on to dominate Zab Judah, but you know, you know I couldn't leave you hanging. You can see why Roger Mayweather might have thought what he thought. And then he hit Floyd on the back of the head as well. So there's the, there's the body blow, which was right on the cup. Here's the right hand to the back of the head. And this- Wrong in the I think you're wrong in the Watch your mouth, but I don't get out is part of why Floyd Mayweather's uncle, Roger Mayweather, reacted the way he did. Oh, was that intentional? Well, the punch in the back of the head was definitely intentional. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.